This video will show you how to make inflatable objects in Blender, please watch up to the very end. We'll use a more complex shape to help you understand the concept better. When you open Blender, first press tab to go to the edit mode. Click on this X to go to a side view. Turn on X-ray visibility and select these top vertices. Press G then Z to move them down along the Z. Press E to extrude them up to somewhere here. Press S to scale them down. Press E again to extrude them up to somewhere here. Press S again to scale them down. Again press E to extrude them up to somewhere here. Press Ctrl R then click to add an edge loop. Select these vertices here and then press 2 to switch to edge selection. Select these edges on this side as well then press E then click to extrude but leave them in position. Press S then Y to scale them apart along the Y axis. Press Ctrl R then click to add an edge loop this side. Again press Ctrl R then click to add an edge loop this side as well. Select these edges on this side and hold Shift to select these edges on this side as well. Press E to extrude them down up to this level. Press S to scale them up a little. Now press Tab to go back to the object mode. You can turn off X-ray visibility for now. Go to the modifier properties and add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the viewport levels to 5. Switch it to simple and apply this modifier. Now press Tab to go back to the edit mode. Press Alt then Shift and select the edge loops in areas where you would want to add bumps to during the simulation. Come to the Object Data Properties and click on this plus icon to add a vertex group. Click on Assign to assign them. Press Tab to go back to the Object Mode. Now go to the Physics Properties and add a Cloth Physics. Scroll down and activate Pressure. If you play it you'll see the shape falling down. Now increase the pressure to 40. If you play it you'll see it being filled with air. Now scroll down to shape and under pin choose group. If you play it you can see it forming some bumps. To make it look even more stretched out, come to the shrinking factor and reduce it to a lower negative value. Now if you play it you can see some good looking results. You can press tab and go to the edit mode then select even more edges and assign them to the pin group for more interesting results. Now if you play it again you'll see more interesting results. If you zoom into the inside you'll see that some faces are crossing into each other. To fix that go back to frame 0 and come to the physics properties then scroll down to collisions and activate self collision. Scroll up to cache and reduce the simulation frame range to about 50. You can come to the timeline and reduce the animation frame range as well. Now click on Bake to bake the simulation. If you play it you can now see how inflated it looks. To get rid of these rough edges, come to the modifier properties and add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase on the view levels until it just looks fine. I'll leave them at 3 for my case. Increase the render levels to a similar number. Come to Object and shade it Auto Smooth. Now that everything is ready, you can go ahead and work on your scene further and render. Thank you so much for watching up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.